Hi, I'm Danny, and I'm an orthodontist assistant here at Evans Orthodontics. Today we're going to go over seven tips for Invisalign. Tip number one, invest in an emery board. The reason why an emery board is important is because if you ever put your tray in and you feel a sharp spot or something pokey or it just seems a little rough, you can take your emery board and smooth down whatever edge that may be. Don't go too crazy with it, start with a little at a time. If you don't have an emery board, which is a nail file, you can also use sandpaper as well. And then just file it down to wherever it feels comfortable, but like I said, just be a little careful and don't get too crazy. Tip number two, never put your trays in a napkin. What I mean by that is when you're going out to eat and you need to take your trays out, never just set them in a napkin or on the side of your plate. The reason why is because you may forget about them and they can get thrown away. So in, instead of that, go ahead and put your trays in the case we give you at that delivery appointment or sometimes say you forgot your case, at least stick them in your pocket. But do not put them in a napkin or on the side of your plate. Tip number three, never take your trays out for more than an hour. I know when you get your trays, it will say that you can take them out for about two hours, but I advise you for the best results, you take them out after every time you eat. So that's about three times a day. Um, and even if you snack in between, go ahead, take your trays out and then leave them out for about mm, 10 or 15 minutes or so, so you can let your saliva work through and get the rest of that food out. Then once you're done with that, go ahead and brush again and then put your trays in because you don't want any of that food and especially sugary stuff to get stuck in between that tray where that saliva can't work through. Tip number four, how to remove your Invisalign tray. I find the best way to remove your Invisalign tray is removing it from the backs first. Now whether that's the left or the right, whatever one you feel most comfortable with, you can go ahead and take off. So it's just gonna go from the back, this side, and then we'll go ahead and do this side, and then you can pull from the front. Now don't worry about ripping your trays, they're pretty durable. So go ahead and tug down on the back first and then pull from the front. Tip number five, don't speed up your treatment. What I mean by that is, is whenever you come in to get your Visalign put on, the doctor will go over a couple of rules on when to change out your trays. Now everybody's a little bit different, so typically we want you to keep them in for 14 days, but some people can go seven days. With that being said, on that seventh day, if that tray that you're still on feels a little tight, go ahead and go until it doesn't feel tight anymore then you can change out your tray, but never go any less than seven days. Tip number six, check your attachments and also massage your attachments. What I mean by that is check and make sure that your attachments are still glued onto your teeth. Sometimes they could fall off, so you just wanna make sure they're still on there. So at night when you brush your teeth, go ahead and smile for yourself in the mirror and make sure there's still attachments on the teeth that are supposed to have attachments. So now about the massaging part. What you're gonna do is whenever you put your new tray on, the best thing to do is just to massage that attachment. So you're just gonna take your finger or fingernail and just kind of roll up wherever those attachments are so it kind of has a better hold. And tip number seven, it's really important when you have your trays and you put your new tray in, it doesn't float. And what I mean by that is say you go ahead and you put your new tray in and it goes down all the way on one side and maybe a little bit on this side, but if you can see how that tray is not fully seated on those teeth, 
That is what we mean by your tray is floating. If that's the case, give your doctor a call. We'll make an appointment, check and make sure everything's still okay and we're still on track. What we want you to do is make sure you bring at least your two trays ahead in. So whether you're on tray five, please bring tray six and seven and also the two trays behind. So it would be four and three. So we can check and make sure if it's just that tray or if we are getting off track. So I hope those seven tips have helped. If you have any questions, please call our office. Thank you for watching.